breaking two. We've heard that one before, but today we are focusing on breaking two minutes for 100 meters in the pool. We're going to be covering tips and techniques for you to incorporate into your training so you can smash that goal. So we're going to be addressing the technical aspects of your stroke and your fitness that is going to be required to enable you to swim 100 meters in less than two minutes as a standalone swim. And then progressing on from that, the target will be to increase that distance and maintain that pace so that you can swim a 750 meters required and a sprint distance try in 15 minutes and then a 1500 meter required an Olympic distance try in 30 minutes. Technique is key to swimming faster and more efficiently. However, as endurance athletes, it can be really tempting to think more and more lengths are surely just going to make you swim faster. However, it could actually be compounding the problem by the fact that you are installing that bad technique you have by just practicing it over and over again. So today we're going to be focusing on two of the key elements when it comes to technique that are required for you to nail that two minute goal. Stroke rate is a really key aspect for you to focus on and this basically means the speed that your arms are moving around and there's very much a happy medium. If you move your arms faster and you maintain the same power and the catch through your stroke, you will go faster. However, you need to make sure you don't slip into the problem of moving your arms really fast, but you're actually not going any faster. So you want to concentrate on the front part of your stroke, the catch. This is the element where your hand goes into the water and you get hold of that water. As long as you have that, and then you can keep the water all the way through the pool, but you can increase the speed you're doing that, you will then increase the speed that you're swimming at. So hopefully that makes sense. It's about making the stroke very continuous, keeping it moving fast, no dead points in the stroke, so no pause at the front, but you don't want to be skipping and shortening the stroke either. So once you've got that element of your technique dialed, then you can look at speeding up the arms, which in turn should actually make you go faster. And a great way of practicing this would be to pop a pull boy in. So you're taking out your legs and you can really focus just on the arm movement. And you can keep the arms the same when you add the leg kick back in. And again, it will help you go faster. And if you do want a key to sort of trigger that faster stroke rate, you can look at using a tempo trainer that'll just help you keep on that right rhythm. Body alignment is the other aspect that we're going to focus on today and having the right position in the water is going to enable you to get the most out of the effort of each stroke. So basically travel the most distance for the same amount of effort. And there's kind of two aspects to this that go hand in hand. So there's rotation, but there's also the placement of your hand and the direction of your pull under your body. So you want to think that you're going to naturally rotate side to side your whole body each stroke, which will start to happen naturally if you get the right hand entry which will also happen correctly if you've got the right rotation. So your hand wants to be entering the water pretty much directly in front of your shoulder, not out wide, but most importantly, not across the midline. If you start to go across the midline, that can cause snaking and will basically send you off course and mean that you're putting a lot more effort in to go the same distance. So with that direct hand entry, you'll then start to rotate towards that side as you're pulling, which will enable you to engage the lat muscles, those big side muscles, which can enable you to put more force through the water and swim further for every stroke. There's no point in nailing your technique if you haven't addressed your fitness. And this is where consistency really becomes important. So you want to try and get yourself into a routine of going to the pool regularly. Ideally, if you can get three swim sessions in a week and they don't need to be long, just around 1500 meters or 45 minutes as a ballpark target figure. And you want to have a different focus for each of these sessions. So keep one of those as being focused on drills and really working on that technique. Another session can be doing some speed work, so faster than that two minute pace. And then the third session is looking at endurance. So being able to practice maintaining swimming for a longer time, which is gonna build that endurance base and enable you to progress this two minute per hundred up to the longer distances. And we've actually got some examples of those sessions, but the key here is gonna be the technique and the speed work, which is gonna be keeping it short so you can make sure you're really practicing the right element of your stroke. So let's take a look. Here's an example drill session. Warm up with three lots of 100 meters as one of them swimming, one pull, and then one back to swim. And then for the main set, we've got 12 times 25 meters. 
It's doing half the length, so 12 and a half meters of drill, followed by 12 and a half meters of easy swim. Take 10 seconds rest at the end of each 25. Then up to eight times 50 meters as 25 meters drill, 25 meters swim, and take 20 seconds rest after each. And then the final set, four times 75 meters, as 25 meters swim, 25 meters drill, 25 meters swim again, and take 30 seconds after each of those. And for the warm down, just complete four times 50 meters easy stroke. Let's take a look at speed. And I'm going to imagine that you're swimming in a 25 meter pool for this. So that means for each length, you need to be hitting 30 seconds. And if it's a 50 meter, you need to complete that in a minute. But realistically, over the 100 meters that you're targeting, you're going to slip a little bit with your time. So we want to try to target around 57, 58 seconds per 100. And it's going to correlate over to those goal times when we're actually looking at doing the speed session. So let's take a look at the example we've got. For your warm up, four lots of 75 meters as 50 meters front crawl, 25 meters of a different stroke. And then for the main set, we've got six times 50 meters with the first 25 going fast. So we're above that goal pace. So that will be quicker than 30 seconds. Then you've got 25 meters really nice and easy with 30 seconds rest after each 50. And once you've done those six, you've then got two lots of 50 meters aiming to hit around 56, 57 seconds with a whole minute rest afterwards. And you're going to repeat that block three times through and then finish up with 100 meters, nice, easy for the warm down. With a focus on technique and consistency throughout your drill sessions and your speed work, you will see that 100 meter time drop, but over time, you're going to want to be able to keep that time reduced for the longer distances. And this is where you really need to start to build in that endurance so you can keep that pace up to, say, the sprint or an Olympic distance triathlon. So we've got a endurance session here for you to take a look at. So here's an example for an endurance session. Warm up with two lots of 150 meters with your middle 50 meters as a different stroke. And then for the main set, 400 meters steady swim, followed by 50 meters easy recovery, and then take 30 seconds rest. 300 meters of pull, followed by a 50 meter easy swim, and 20 seconds rest. And then 200 meters of pull and paddles, followed by 50 meters easy swim, and 15 seconds rest. And then the final 100 meters, you're going to build so you get faster by every 25 meters. So you finish the last 25 hard and then take a 50 meter easy swim and 10 seconds rest. And then to finish up, just do two lots of 100 meters easy for your warm down. This isn't going to happen overnight. You're going to need consistency in both your fitness and in your technique. But I think we've got that point across. It is a massive barrier and once you break two minutes, you're gonna feel great and you will continue to improve. So stick at it. Let us know when, you've get, when you get there or if you've already got there and how that was for you. You can do that in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed it, give us a like. Remember, you can follow us on social media where you'll get some swimming tips and you can also subscribe here on YouTube.